What's up, YouTube? Today is uh, September 10th, and we're on, like, week four of my indoor garden. Like, around week four. And today, I just wanted to do a little video tour. I'm gonna just talk about some of the plants, what I've noticed in the, in the weeks. Uh, indoor, outdoor, since I do have a big outdoor garden, which I'm going to start videotaping, which is kind of beat right now, but maybe tomorrow during the day I'll make a nice video. So this was one of the eggplants that I took in from outside. You know, you know how it was just like a cutting, but look at all the leaves that came out of this so far. Um, I'm impressed. My baby has a few flowers, but to be honest, I've been taking taking the flowers off the little eggplant cutting because I'm still I'm still like understanding like cuttings of eggplants and it, from what I notice is if you get a cutting of an eggplant definitely don't let the flowers right at the bottom go that's just not good so I've been breaking them off to get them higher but to be honest if you see this one I'm not even gonna have that one I'm not even pollinating any of these. I kind of want to get it to at least like maybe here on the pole before I even do anything with the flowers. Okay, and we're back to the Henderson beans. Oh, I'm getting big. So my outdoor Henderson beans are crazy. There's so many flowers, so many on each because these ones are like, I would say like maybe four or five days behind since I did pull these from outside, but the transplant shock was like maybe three or four days, kind of, because outside it's kind of hard to get the roots out perfectly. So normally if I don't start from a seed indoor and switch over to just a quick pot, uh, I'm kind of ripping the roots and stuff as I get it. There's like a lot of it's hard to just get a nice root system of a plant from outside if, it, if it's a deep rooting plant. But basically outside they're like four or five days ahead of this and they're just doing amazing. Um, the pole beans are flying up the... <laughs> it's just crazy. They're over my plant. Or they're over my uh, LED lights, which they're totally... I keep putting them down and trying to get them to go down and actually last week I snipped the first one. <clears throat> um, uh, to, to be honest, I don't think I'm going to let them see how these go because if they're ones that got to get really big, I don't know, but I prefer like, in my opinion, I think they should at least yield some beans or almost maybe six foot five six five six foot i mean like the top one's all the way up there uh my german giant curled up i was away and i had my mom water my my uh plants but i think she she did a good job this curling is maybe because of the uh the uh house and garden supplements i added to it um I got a nice flower right there. Uh, it's just nice to see a flower. That's my biggest tomato plant, I would say. Uh, I've read good things about the German giants. Um, they're pretty nice looking tomatoes. Uh, the strawberries, now, these things are just beautiful. Uh, so I did spray the whole inside with neem oil and Castile soap style whatever so uh, I basically did a teaspoon of each and then like a couple drops of tea tree oil in it shake it up basically helps it all turn into a solution because it <coughs> you just put the oil and the water together it wouldn't bind so if you add the soap and the tea tree oil it actually makes like quite a little stuff um, the products are right here Just like nice little products. I think I was supposed to go with like mint flavor, but 
did <laughs> or meant Senate. Um, but I kind of wanted to go with unsenate because I'm just, I'd rather just add my own tree, tea tree oil because it, it's just <coughs> how I wanted it to go. Uh, but they're doing very good and I have strawberries appearing. <laughs> I, this, when this gets big, it's going to definitely be interesting. Um, I do have a spider living in here somewhere. I'm not gonna kill him. He's a little guy. He's a jumping spider. Uh, he, to me, some spiders are a necessary evil. Uh, the butter crunch lettuce up here is definitely getting really good, and you can kind of definitely tell that's different, and that's the romaine. Um, I'm actually really excited on that. The pitcher plant. I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to do something about that because I, I just believe I need to get more humidity out of it. Uh, but this is the bean plant. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, this is broccoli. That's cabbage. These are uh, uh, cantaloupes, which I am going to have one go this way, one go this way, and when they do get bigger, cantaloupes have a small root base, in my opinion. So, like, you can do three cantaloupe plants in a nice little area, and, and just, like, have a little bit of success. Like, they're not going to stay in this side, and... In this size, like they're definitely going to be transplanted, but I really believe they're just like a good pairing uh, vine. Uh, it'd be like a waste of space to just have one in, in a little area. In my, uh, that's just on certain varieties. This is this is a uh, celery, which took a while to germinate, but it's here. <laughs> It's it's not popped up yet, but I'm gonna water that tonight. These are a bell pepper variety color bell pepper plants from um, Urban Urban Seeds, and this I believe is my round zucchinis. There's two of them. You got him, and then the other one's big, which I kind of noticed. Like, they, like there's a lot going on right there. Uh, there's two types of cucumbers hanging out here, and then also a gray squash, well two gray squashes there and there, gladiator tomatoes, that's, wow, I actually got to germinate. See, I germinated these indoor with one of those pollinator wands, and dang, it worked good. Back here is peanuts. Uh, actually, just so people can see what the peanuts look like. Yeah, it's a little bush. Um, there's two different types of peanuts in there. Uh, the one type of peanut is is a Spanish peanut, and the other is jumbo. Uh, basically, the these pepper plants didn't really do good outside they've been growing for like two weeks and then like this tall or six weeks and then like this tall they're just not doing good outside but they definitely look like they're doing way better inside from the start um yeah uh so i do plan on doing some stuff i'm probably gonna eventually knock back all just some of the plants and just lean out and, and get it down to where I want it to. My thoughts are next year I'm gonna just do a little more and have outside going really well. do my thing current upset 
uh, since my basement is literally super easy to... <laughs> I just open the door and ventilate this place like once a day. Uh, I basically am enjoying it and this, the plants are definitely starting to like get, get grown. It's definitely like I'm starting to have to remove excess vegetation and I, uh, there's just a lot going on in here to be honest. <laughs> I definitely have a few pests that I'm dealing with, but they're, they're done. I'm gonna spray all the aphids with the spray and just keep my plants sprayed so the neem oil just keeps everything out of here. That's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching my videos again. I'm gonna keep doing a post every week. I'm gonna be doing my indoor outdoor garden update videos. Uh, it's very hard to have a garden and work a full-time job. It's just, it's very hard. But salute to everyone else that's watching my videos and doing the stuff that I do. And they have a green thumb because I really believe in five or six years being able to grow your own food sustainably is going to be quite the ordeal. But thanks. Hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.